Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So today we have an enormous canvas to show you. Um, it is the Santa Express from Craft Buddy Crystal Art and this one is 90 centimetres by 65 centimetres. And today this is my biggest canvas. Uh, yeah. I bought it in January uh, 2021 in the sale and it was half price and it was just too good a bargain to miss. As you know, the Craft Buddy ones come already framed, which is why it's in such a huge box. Um, and I forgot all about it because, you know, when you're um, used to seeing something and then you just stop seeing it, that's what happened with this. This has been behind the door in my craft room because there's nowhere else to store it. It is so big. Um, I forgot that I had it. And of course, I've seen it every time I've opened and closed the door and never thought anything of it. And it suddenly dawned on me. Yeah, I bought this for my dad for Christmas and I suddenly thought, gosh, I better get cracking with this. Uh, yeah, it's a huge canvas to get done. So it is Santa Express and it's a beautiful Christmas train. I mean, this is just the box. This isn't the canvas. Uh, it's going to be fun getting it out of the box to try and show you as well. It's bigger than my desk. It is bigger than my craft desk. OK, um, yeah, my dad used to drive steam trains. So we've got a, a special little place in our hearts for steam trains in our family. So, yeah, let's get into this box and have a look and see what we get inside. I have to say, Craft Buddy kits do come beautifully packaged. I mean, that box is just wonderful, great. Um, I've noticed that there's a few of the less expensive companies, shall we say, starting to do similar things now. They're sort of like latching on. But to me, Craft Buddy sort of was the first that I ever saw doing it. And uh, yeah, they're very, very good at what they do. Okay, so it comes in... Um, a plastic wrapper as it were so let's get it out of this wrapper and have a look looks like we've got the drills here and um, we have if I can just slide it across a bit so it's very difficult to do this I don't want to knock the camera because it's balanced well if you could see how it's balanced you think yeah she's definitely not a professional video maker <laughs> uh, you've got your key code down the side that you just literally cut off so you can have it stick on your pots or whatever. But let's get it out of this plastic bag first so we can have a look at the canvas. OK, video magic. Right, this is one of the old kits. Um, obviously, this is from 2020, Christmas 2020. Um, and as I say, I bought it in uh, 2021. I do apologise for the lighting a little bit today. It's very, very dull and dark here in the UK. Um, and it's been raining, then it stopped, then it's rained, then it stopped. So we get little bright spots and I thought, yay, we've got a bright spot, I'll start filming. And it went done again. <laughs> As I say, I never said I was a professional. So you always uh, get your leaflet or you used to. I'm not sure. I haven't had one of the big kits for a while. Um, and it tells you step by step how to diamond paint so if you were buying this as a present for somebody I would suggest not buying it as the first uh, kit for them it would completely overwhelm them or it would have overwhelmed me shall we say if somebody would have bought me this as my first diamond painting I would have thought blimey have I got enough time to ever make this one but uh, yeah I mean you know it, as a, a, a more advanced kit shall we say because of the size of it um, the actual art of diamond painting is exactly the same on whatever kit you do. It is just literally matching up numbers, letters, symbols um, to a little acrylic or resin drill or a gem and putting it in the right place. Um, so it is just the size that could put somebody off. OK, so you've got your contents, it tells you there and how to diamond paint and they do always send it. In four languages so it's a handy little um tips sheet that oh and it does have all your 
social media um, on the bottom there as well instagram facebook and everything there is a facebook group which is great if you do like your craft buddy crystal art and um, the lovely people and it is good you know for sharing ideas seeing new things coming out uh, so yeah just pop over there and have a look a little bit disappointing toolkit for the price that i paid for this i think these were normally around about the 60 pound mark i know i only paid 30 but you know to buy a kit and only get sort of a basic well it's two green boats two um of your pink pens with the three places on a few baggies and there's a chunk of wax under there as well i'm not going to open it it is just a basic tool kit just a little bit extra with the bags uh, the grip seal bags and the three places but you know that's quite disappointing for a huge kit to do but they have upped their toolkits now and um, if you saw one of my recent videos you will have seen that they have now customised their toolkit and it's very nice. Okay, we have a huge amount of drills in two bags. And have I just seen a special drill somewhere? Did I just see a large drill? Yep, I don't think we've got some specials in here. So we'll take a, take a look at those in a bit. But let's have a look and see if we can actually look at this canvas. Okay, so it's a good quality hardwood canvas that uh, it's actually um, pinned onto. It's got some good staples on it. So it's, you know, plenty of staples around it. So it's not coming off there in a hurry. And the thing I like is that this is nice and smooth. You know, it, it's well finished off. It looks like a quality item. So let's look at this picture. So then. Right, it is actually a partial. Yeah. All this sky in the background, sort of from the mountains onwards, uh, sorry, the mountains upwards, doesn't have any gems on it. And I'm not sure why. I'm not sure whether that's because of cost or I don't know. But to me, other companies will do sky and moon. And it is a, a big canvas. You know, we are talking 90 centimetres um by 65 did i say you know so it's a big enough canvas to take having the sky diamond painted as well so i'm i'm not sure why they've not done the sky um and i think maybe putting some little a b's on the snow flurries which are in the sky there or on the moon would have looked quite nice but you know it is what it is uh craft buddy only do rounds as well so possibly because it is a round canvas they maybe think you wouldn't pick the detail up i don't know Santa's not diamond painted, um, so I'm not quite sure how that will show up. Um, and it looks like none of these little toys actually in the back of the train, none of these have got any gems on them either. So for one this size, I don't know. I'll have to do it and see what it looks like. I think Santa could disappear a bit into the background really because everything else is going to be nice and sparkly. But we'll just have to see how we go. Okay, let's just zoom in. We're pretty clear on the uh, letters and everything there. It, strange, but uh, true. <laughs> it has squares around the letters. There's no guide circles, but there are squares, which is quite odd when you consider that this is actually, um, it's a round drill. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to look, whether the squares in the background will show through once you've got the round drill on. It's one of those that I'm going to reserve judgment until it's completely done. As I said, the gems are usually top quality and um, the canvas certainly is very, very well made. Oops, let's just uh, zoom you out a bit again. Uh, it looks like we have the special gems that I saw, the bigger gems look like they're going to go on the wreath on the front of the train there. Um, and it's a lovely image and my dad's going to absolutely love it. And the fact that I've not had to go hunting around for a frame this size. I mean, I, I'm not sure what a 90 by 65 frame would cost you um, or to take it and have it mounted onto, uh, you know, have your canvas mounted onto your wooden frame. Um, you know, I think for the price, you're probably working out about the same as if you'd have bought the canvas and the frame separately, possibly um, a little bit cheaper. 
Um, I like the highlights that we've got around the train here. So I am a bit disappointed with Santa, I think. Once I've got it done, I'll see what it looks like, but I may use some, uh, I've got some iridescent glitter that I may just put on Santa's uh, woolly bits, his little fairy bits there. It may just make him stand out a little bit more. I am worried he's just going to disappear into the background, which would be sad. But uh, it looks like he's going over um, a viaduct. Yeah, Santa is, the train is going over a viaduct here. You've got your arches of your viaduct. And anybody that's a Harry Potter fan will know that um, when Harry goes over in the train in the um, Hogwarts Express, he goes over the Glenfinian um, viaduct, which is in Scotland. And uh, that's one of our favourite places to go, which is uh, the Highlands up in Scotland. So again, you know, another reference. I do like to get references on canvases that I buy to something that means something to me rather than just buying a, a picture particularly. Um, I'll put a photograph in of... The Glenfinian um, Railway. We have actually been on the Harry Potter train and uh, as luck would have it we actually managed to sit in the carriage that they'd filmed the scenes in for Harry Potter as well. So there you are. I mean you just buy your ticket and you don't know where, know where you're going to be sat but we actually got into that uh, compartment so we were very very lucky. Anyway back to the canvas. So let's have a look at the drills and see what we think to the drills. Right let me just... Uh, move this to one side shall I take this out of the way no I'll leave it there because uh, otherwise with my filming I don't know as I say the camera is so precariously balanced <laughs> David Lean has got nothing to worry about it's one of those funny Double-sided horrible plastic bags. Okay, so where shall we start? Where shall we start? Let's start at A. I've cut the key code off the back of the canvas. So as I say, this does actually is attached to the back of the canvas, but I've cut it off. Um, and I will photocopy this and then put these onto my little tubs when I'm kitting up. Um, I may or I may do the kitting up on the camera. We'll have to see because I am going to have to crack on with this. Uh, with the middle of October now and I do need to get this done albeit it's a round and it's a partial so to be honest I think even for the size of it it probably will go pretty quickly this one um, we are all capital letters um, right the way down to Z and then we've got an A, a B and an E um, we've got a P and an R there and they're different colours we've got an E and an F Ooh. The E is white though and the F is black, although they are a similar colour, so we'll just have to see how we go. The D and the O are different colours as well, so I think we're maybe okay with this, uh, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it. It's going to have to be done on a table. It's certainly not going to fit on my knee to do, that is for sure. I usually sit with them on my knee doing them. Um, I'll put them on my uh, little lap table uh, with my magnifying lamp, so this one's going to be a challenge to do. <laughs> Okay, right, so let's have a look at these drills. As I say, Craft Buddy are resin uh, drills, so they are the better quality. So we have a lovely yellow. We've got one, two, three bags of B, which are, I presume they're going to be three tens. Yep, they're three tens. So there's no DMC on the actual packets, but there is DMC on the uh, key code that I've taken off the back of the canvas. So that's good. We can uh, sort our gems out if you're saving them. Got two lots of grey there. Obviously lots and lots of red. Um, yeah, lots of red. More greys for highlights. Browns. Nice bright red. Is that the 666 red? Let me have a look. 
stitch. Yeah, that's 666. We like that. Oh, look at that. Three bags of it. Beautiful Christmasy colours. Lovely sparkly drills. Uh, nice yellow there. Some paler greys. Does look as though um, they're pretty good quality, as I say. And I can't see any trash. You know, sometimes you get the trash on the edges. I can't really see any on that one. Let's ha have a look at a second strip. <laughs> okay, so these are all the blues, uh, which is strange. This just must be the mountains. You'd expect it to be sky. I'm a bit disappointed the sky's not done. Uh, some deeper reds, more like a maroon red. Blues, greens. Uh, pink, a very pinky red there. And a green, a lovely Christmas green, that one. Oh, it's got an interloper in, look, a little paler green one and a brown. A couple of browns, some darker greys. Are they brown? Let's have a look, what colour are they? Z is 3371. And, oh gosh, how many of those have we got? We've got one, two, three, four packs of that one. Wow, that's going to set some doing. Okay, and then whites. I say they could have been ABs. I may substitute those out for a white AB, I think, because it cries out for something a bit more sparkly than just plain gems, just flat colours. So, yeah, I may put one pack um, of... Uh, your AB, which are Aurora Borealis, which they just it's like a coating on them and just mix them in. Um, I think it was Mrs. Crochet and Coffee that uh, first I saw it done. Um, she actually puts hairs together in one little tray so that you're randomly putting them rather than putting them where you want them. Um, so with them being random, it just gives that random sparkle. You'll see what I mean when I've done it. I will show you it when I've done it. And then we have got your larger faceted red round gems, which, as I say, will go on your holly wreath around there. So there's only one special gem on it. Hmm. Yeah, it's Christmas. You've got to bling up at Christmas. You can't just have plain at Christmas, can you? OK, um, I think that's everything I've got to say about it at the moment. It is just a first impressions review. Uh, I do love the picture. As I say, at the moment, Santa's looking so flat, so sad. And with the shadow on his face as well, he may come out a bit dark. Anyway, we'll see how he goes. So we've certainly got plenty of drills there with key code. Uh, oh, how many colours is it? Right, there is only 27 different gems in this. So it's 26 resin drills and then one pack of your special drill. So, yeah, although it did look like there's plenty of different colours for shading, it's definitely one that I am going to have to do and do a proper review on it once it's all kitted up, uh, once it's all completed. But uh, have you done this one? Let me know uh, if you've done it and what you thought to it. But yeah, it, it's a lovely picture. And as I say, I'm sure my dad's going to love it. So I am going to have to crack on and get this one done, ready for Christmas. Right, let's just give it a quick measure brought out the big guns today my little scotty tape measure isn't going to come anywhere near this one so oh, excuse the clicking right does it start yet yeah, it starts from the edge there Oop. <laughs> okay so it is uh, the actual size i've got of the canvas is it's 89 and a half centimeters which is 35 and a quarter inches in lengthways that's the biggest way and then widthways is, oops, let's get that flat at that side, exactly 65 centimetres, which is 25, just over 25 and a half inches. So it is practically true to size, as it says. Um, it is poured glue as well, so poured glue around, it's going to go really, really quickly, this one. It will be hopefully nice to do. Um, and once I've got it done, I will show you. OK, well, if you've enjoyed looking at this one with me, please give me a thumbs up. I would love to have a thumbs up from you. And um, if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, uh, if you press that subscribe button in this corner and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when uh, my next videos come up. OK, well, thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.